What's good? What's good? Welcome back to Invest in Trade with Josh. We're going to go over Solana, currently sitting at 134. We're sitting in market cap of 43.04 billion, 24 volume, 2.28 billion. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're new to crypto.com, you can sign up to the world's fastest growing crypto app. Grab one of the incredible Visa cards, cash back in crypto, free Spotify, Netflix Prime, travel incentives, $25 just for signing up through my referral. So we're very, very close to our break even, which is exciting for Solana. However, I do think some pullback is likely. We're here on the four hour time frame. We have a bearish divergence, higher highs, creating lower highs, and we're starting to sell off just a little bit here, not too bad. Uh, we also have a double top pattern. As you can see here, we made a top and we've made a second top. It would be healthy, and I do think the likely scenario for Solana to pull back, and that would bring you down to the 55 EMA at one 22 as you can see here money is starting to flow out now if we look at solana on the daily time frame we have exploded back above the emas just absolutely took off into space the money flow is super high we're overbought in the rsi so it would be healthy to see some pullback but we have broken out of this descending brawning wedge absolutely massive pattern so if we're able to hold above it if we do sell off here but we're able to hold the support of the descending broadening wedge, allow the EMAs to catch up to the candles, that we are in a technical target all the way up to the top of the wedge at 257. So that could be a massive trade opportunity of 103%. If we look at the weekly time frame, it's looking really healthy. We had a bearish divergence. As you can see here, we created high, high, lower high on the RSI as well as the money flow. Came all the way back down to the bottom section on the money flow. And, and as you can see, money started to flow back into Solana and we saw a nice little bounce. We're back above the weekly EMAs, the 20 and the 55. So as long as we hold them as support, we're looking healthy for, continu for continuation. Even if we see some harsher pullback, if we pop back open to the daily, if we see some harsher pullback, uh, let me just get all these squigglies out of here so it's not so distracting. And we lose the support of our descending brawning wedge. We still have the EMAs, right? It would be perfectly healthy. Come down, come back down to the EMAs and then come back down on the RSI to healthy section as well as the money flow. Sorry, that just got a little bit crazy here. Come back down to a healthy section as well as on the money flow before seeing continuation back to the upside. So what we want to see, either that pullback or consolidation. We just consolidate, consolidate, consolidate. Allow the EMAs to catch back up. Allow the indicators to reset, to come back down into a healthy range before seeing continuation. But we're looking really healthy. We're back above the 20, the 55, the 200. We've just had the bullish cross. We just exploded a little bit too quickly here. So now what we want to see is retracement before seeing continuation. That's basically it for Seoul. Big shout out to the Discord, over 1,800 members. We have the DCA charts for the live trades on the channel. These are the buy and take profit zones. Based off support, resistance, Fibonacci, the DCA charts, if you want to live trade with us. The DCA trade strategy fully explained. And over 1,800 members posting chart patterns, talking all things crypto. 350 USD if you want to trade with me. Sign up to Bybit, and I'll see you in the next video. Much love. Take care.